and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Last time, we finally made progress and got to Sasa Sanctuary at long last. Now, when I went to save, I noticed this guy over here. Ah, uh, that's another month in the red. It's bad enough not having any guests but closing the place. This boss is horrible. The boss is horrible with numbers, but he's got a big heart. That's why everyone goes along with him. Okay, I was just wondering, because he looked troubled, so I was curious what he had to say. Welcome to Sparrow Inn! I'm a hostess here. Let us know if there's anything you need. Ahem, welcome. This is our Sanctuary's long-running Sparrow Inn. Yes, welcome! You're the one who rescued young Chun, aren't you? It was chaos here for a while when she suddenly vanished like that. Thank goodness she's safe now. Oh yes, thank goodness. Oh, there's so much to do. Out of my way, please. Spot oh, you again. <laughs> okay, looks like we talked to everyone on the first floor. What about you? You're not staying here, are you? No, of course not. I imagine that innocent look is what got you into san Sasa Sanctuary. The inn's open again. Now that Chun's home, that old bamboo craftsman came, uh, came back like a shot. Okay, I just wanted to talk to people for fun. Wow, cannot jump this very well. Anyway, off we go. Anyway, what? Oh, you're new. Uh, I cannot talk to the sparrow. Or that sparrow. Oh. It's also bathhouse is famous for its powerful geyser, you know. You feel like you're flying when you're on top of the water jet. Water, 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 water flowing again. Oh, we already saw this. Well, might as well move on then. So it should just be through here, right? Yep. So the question is... Uh, well, after we feed the birds, that is. The question is... How easy will it be to recruit this doggy? I have a feeling not easy, based on the pattern. It just feels like it hasn't been an easy trip so far. Someone's troubled. Tweet tweet. Whoa, get a load of Tweety here. Hey, what's with all the tripping, kid? Don't call me kid. I have a name, you know, it's Ty. And I'm not tripping, I'm crying. Tweet tweet. Cry baby Ty. Oh, you're crying. So what's with that freaky cry of yours? Take is lost. He disappeared while we were out for a walk. Tweet tweet. Who's Take? Is he a friend of yours? He's my dog. I lost my dog. Tweet tweet. Whoa, the canine tracker suddenly appeared. That must mean... Yep. Apparently... Take is... One of the canine warriors. Bringing up the point that a sparrow has a dog for a pet, which is not something you see every day. Looks like there's a path over to the right. That's curious. Hmm. Not sure what to do over there. Huh? You see what I see, Ami? Unless I'm hallucinating or something. That bamboo over there looks like it's flashing. Maybe we'll find something interesting inside if we cut it down. I wonder if I have to go in order. I'm supposed to cut down the bamboo to slid up. It's so obvious. I thought that's what he did. Bingo! What's a dog doing in there? Tweet? Take! Take's back! Take? What's wrong, boy? Why are you growling? Wait a minute. Was it this white wolf who spirited you away? Oh, give me a break. Hey, wait, I think this fleetback's trying to say something. Huh? My wolf, why, why do you have to bear the canine tracker? Fight me and prove that you are worthy. Canine warrior Gi. You hear that, Ami? This must be one of the canine warriors. That canine tracker really set him off. What will it be, Ami? Pick a fight? Okay, sure you're ready? Don't hold back now. He's just gonna stand there watching us fight, apparently. Okay, so more canine warriors. I assume this is a very similar fight to the previous. <laughs> Wait till it stops glowing and attacking. 
with this hunch, but that seems to work out. It seems a lot faster. Just from what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, he seems to do more charging attacks. Stunned, so he can do more damage. Yeah, one problem I'm having is you can't cancel out of attacks, which is sort of surprising for a platform game. Though this is like the least uh, combat-oriented co platinum game from what I've played. Uh, yeah, from my experience, the platinum games are very combat-heavy, so uh, things like canceling out combos and stuff, just you can't do that here. Uh, then again, just doing it with a Wii controller probably wouldn't be the easiest thing. I thought I just did cancel out of an attack, I'm not sure how I did that. Maybe I just did it at the very end of the animation. Okay, I was trying it and it didn't work, so yeah, I obviously just had really weird timing there. I wonder how tough Yume is going to be when we eventually fight him inevitably. I don't know, Yume seems kind of small for a Kanan Warrior, for like a boss battle, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> just headbutt him. Okay, now he's angry. Okay, that attack was not as spectacular as I was expecting it to be. Considering all the howling and wind up, he actually didn't do a whole lot there. Take you out, hopefully soon. Wow, I have no clue how I dodged that. Fell right into a trap. Oops. Uh, game? Okay, that was a waste. <laughs> I have no clue what my angle is like at the moment, so... Yeah, that went well. Yeah, I don't think I'm quite lined up with my TV's thing, pointer-wise, so I'm at a slight angle. Um... There we go. It would have been done otherwise. Yeah, I find just jumping out of the way works a lot better than actually trying to dodge, just because it's like, uh, it's dependable. You just push the button and you dodge. It's nothing like rocket science. Three. So yeah, sort of memorizing attack patterns is a big part of it too. But since he has two attacks where he glows first, it's a little bit tricky to guess which one he's actually going to do. Uh, there's probably a better indicator, but I'm just missing it. And we have him on the ropes. These fights take a long time. That's the charge. Should be it. If we can sack him one more time, we will be fine. Or we could just defeat him like that, that works too. Why does this dog have so much money? We're halfway to getting the last upgrade from Shenshu Field too. It's like 200,000 yen. Cut it out, leave him alone. I won't allow you to bully Taki like that. Keep it up and I'll clobber you. Wait a sec, Tweety, we're not bullying anybody. Right, you flea bag? Uh, come on, say something. I know Princess Fuse summons me. It is my duty to defeat Crimson Helm, the file of the Gale Shrine, but I cannot return. This place is in grave danger. The monsters will overrun us the sanctuary without me, and the Sparrow Tribe. They would all be. Oh, what shall I do? You obtain duty orb. What's this? The power orb has chosen you. The power... I need no longer worry. I shall remain here and battle the monsters for the Sparrow Tribe. Even separated, the hearts of the canine warriors be as one. Huh? Hey, wait a second. Wait a second, what? The power... oh. Okay, whatever. I suppose it'll all make sense eventually. I won't allow you to bully talk you like that. Keep it up and I'll clobber you. 
Okay, okay, the fight's over. <laughs> I mean, tactically, he challenged us. Just saying. Feed you. And... Uh, all the stuff is got forest. Thank goodness, this is almost done. I feel like after we get past this part, it'll get easier. Just my intuition speaking that this is sort of the hard part based on the fact that even in-game they describe it as difficult, so... Uh, I know it's a pun, but I'm sure Doggone Quest was not entirely meant to be, like, just saying, Oh, hey, dog puns. Oh, what a fabulous hot spring. Wolfie, I heard the rockets from afar, but why don't you wash off all that grime in the hot spring? Hot spring? I think it will pass. Anyway, isn't it about time you started looking for bamboo? Oh, you're right, the festival's just around the corner. It falls on the night of the full moon. Night of the full moon? Yep, Kamiki Village holds the Kamiki Festival on the night of the full moon during this time of year. You've heard the legend of how the great hero Nagian Shranui defeated the terrible beast with the help of the gods, haven't you? That's why the village pays homage to the gods of the sacred tree. This is the 100th anniversary of the beast's defeat. They better finish that bamboo where I want to sell at the festival. Hot dog, I just love festivals. Gotta remember to go back to Kamiki Village on that day. And by the way, Wolfie, I'd like to give you something to thank you for your help in the hot spring digging game. It isn't much, but you might may find it useful. Here you go. Mermaid coin. Thanks, Gramps. Whoa, that's some grubby pocket change. There are many small springs those known as mermaid springs across Nippon. They say you can pass between them by tossing in one of these coins. If true, you could travel across the Nippon in the blink of an eye. Really? Those are some wicked coins. They must be extremely valuable. No, not really. You can even buy them at all at stores around here. I only kept it because I, it was kind of cute. I don't have much, so you have to excuse me. Oh, that was it. Yeah, <sighs> just a lot of talking all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Now we have to go back to the God Forest. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Fingers crossed that it doesn't take till the end of time. I mean, we could use the mermaid coin, but like, I would rather save it for when it's really useful. Because I assume it's a case of, oh, you expend it to actually travel. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably not gonna actually use those at all because personally, the idea of having to spend currency to fast travel is a little bit weird. And I have this habit in games where I hoard items. They're like a rare and special, so most likely we'll never use mermaid coins ever. Just because of how I play games. Like how fancy is this way? Like during that let's play where I actually use a ton of items. Uh that's not how I usually end up playing in Final Fantasy. I usually don't use items and just rely on cure spells. This is how I play RPGs in general. I'd say the one RPG where I actually do use items a lot is Tails. Because in Tails, items are actually a lot easier to come by to the point where you usually have like way too much of an item, so you might as well use it. Okay, uh, on the subject, uh, another game I've actually been considering is actually Tails something. Probably Abyss, most likely, but I'd have to get a PS2. <laughs> so that's not happening, but that'd be the one I'd most like to play is Abyss. Because I feel like it's the most like underrated because everyone talks about Symphonia, everyone talks about uh, Vesperia. Uh, people don't really talk about Abyss much and it's actually pretty good. Even though the main character is a bit of an asshole at first, uh, it picks up. Yeah, but again, Considering that Tales games are often complained to have static characters, uh, it's interesting to me that one of the few examples of a static, of a transformative character, is actually largely ignored. 
from what I've seen. Well, anyway, back here, so let's do this. Ah, uh, wrong direction. I assume that's what I have to do. Oh, shoot, I thought those were straws, those were ribbons, never mind. That's odd. How did the water get into the barrel all by itself? That's a good question. How many times do I have to do this? Three. Okay. I should have known it was three times, because it's a video game. Everything is in threes in games. Yay! How wonderful! The barrel's full of spring water already. This will be plenty for the holy sake for the festival. Excellent. Now we just have to get it back to the village. Carry it home? But it must weigh a ton. Uh Oh, hi. What is it? What is it? Do you want some of the spring water? Sorry, I'll be getting this barrel out of your way Oh, I just figured out what to do. What did happen? Back, you beast. Here I am, just taking a walk, and look what I run into. Oh, it's you. Zeusa now? Take one more step towards the lady, and it'll be your last. I have a bad feeling that we're gonna have to work with Susano and he'll just be a nuisance. The great Susano, descendant of the hero Nagi, forbids it. Do not despair, my fair Kushi. Susano's here to save the day! Uh oh, this looks bad! I swing my sword in the name of love. Susano style, sword of passion, here I go! Oh boy. Leave. Oops. How I was hitting it to the water barrel. Connecting it to the water barrel so it wasn't responding. You. Leave. Okay, I think we're saving this for the next episode. <laughs> what happened? Okay, he's all peed up now. It's kind of, kind of funny, actually. Why? Is she? Oops. <laughs> it's kind of funny how he's getting really beat up from this. I'm gonna try pointing it at a different angle. No, watch out! And you did it, Pops! That was amazing! Next time on Alchemy, we see what happens next. Thank you for watching, I hope you join me next time for more Alchemy.